Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts video of the Brendan Lee versus Zachary Ochoa fight. They recently fought over at the uh, Dallas Cowboys Stadium uh, in Arlington, Texas, USA in the undercard of the Spence versus Ugas event. Um, this fight was the first fight that they showed us on the, the regular Showtime broadcast. And the uh, fight was scheduled for 10 rounds. He went the whole 10 rounds and Brandon Lee won the fight by unanimous decision. Now, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, this fight, it was pretty much all Brandon Lee. It was all Brandon Lee. Um, I mean, there were a couple of rounds where... You know, Choa did a good job finally letting his hands go because, in my opinion, he was more on survival mode for most of the fight. I thought Brandon Lee, you know, really wanted to get in there and try to take him out and try to continue his knockout streak. His knockout streak has finally ended with this fight going the distance. This is his first time going a whole 10 rounds, which is not necessarily a bad thing. The The last time he went distance was early on in his career before he had 10 rounds scheduled fights. But for him to go 10 rounds goes to show that he has the stamina to go 10 rounds. And, you know, it it gives him that experience of finally going the distance and for him not to be too eager to necessarily go for the knockout just for the sake of keeping a knockout streak. So, in my opinion, I think this does Brandon Lee a favor, just in case he steps in there against a bigger name, bigger fighter, bigger puncher. Because the, then, you know, Brandon Lee would be more, you know, focused on winning instead of going for a knockout. Uh, and the judges had it 98-92, 99-91, 99-91, 90, all in favor of uh, Brandon Lee. Um, and like I said, he was just the busier fighter. Uh, I thought Ochoa was on survival mode for the most part. Uh Two judges gave one round to Ochoa and one judge gave two rounds to Ochoa. I, I can see that. Um, but de definitely a win for Brandon Lee. I don't know why Ochoa looked so shocked when they announced the winner. But <laughs> but definitely a win for Brandon Lee. And with this win, Brandon Lee uh, improves to... I don't know why BoxRec hasn't updated it yet. But the fight took place not, not too long ago. But but yeah, he improves to 25-0. and 0. Let me refresh real quick. Oh, finally, they updated it. Now he improves to 25-0. and 0, 22 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. And, um, and, you know, he, he remains undefeated. And he's, you know, he's, he's a top fighter. He's a top fighter in the 140-pound division. If you look at 140 pounds, he's considered number nine by the IBF. And, you know, it, it's definitely going into this fight. This fight was kind of announced last minute. Um, but I, I would love to see him finally fight somebody among the top 15. And, and it's up to his promoters and management to do that for him. And I hope Brandon Lee demands that. Tell his promoters, tell his manager that, hey, it's time for me to fight a big name. I'm, you know that he, it's time for him to prove himself, not just to the fans, but to himself as a fighter, to show that he, you know, he is ready to step in there against uh, a world champion. And in order for you to step in there against a world champion, let's say the likes of, I don't know, Josh Taylor is planning to move up, so we don't know who the champion will be in the next couple of years or so. Uh, but it would be nice to see Brandon Lee fight a top guy so that he can put himself in a position to fight for that world title in the next couple of years or in the next year. And he can do that. Brandon Lee is ready for those fights, at least in my opinion. So I I'm truly hoping Brandon Lee um, you know, demands to his uh, promoter management that uh, it's time to, to step up. Um, as for Zachary Ochoa, Second loss in his pro career. Um, no, actually, third loss. I have to refresh it. Third loss in his pro career. Um, losing two fights in a row now. Uh, hasn't really been that active over the past few years. Um, you know, Ochoa can come back. He's only 29 years old. I just feel like, you know, next time he should let his hands go more instead of moving around too much. I felt like in this fight, he was just moving way, way too much. And, you know, he... Lee was giving him opportunities by going forward and trying to knock him out. But I guess Ochoa didn't have the skill set and experience to to handle somebody who is expo as explosive and as fast and as strong as Brandon Lee. Uh, but Ochoa can come back. I mean, I think Ochoa is actually a good test for any up-and-coming uh, prospect at 140 pounds. So, anyway. Um, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.